Is this what happens when Jeff Bezos decides to flex his muscles? This is what happens when Jeff Bezos or anybody else looks at an at antediluvian industry like book publishing, which is mired in the 18th century and can't figure out what to do in the digital age. Roxana, would you agree <laughs> that, uh, that uh, the, the book publishing industry is the kind of anachronism that uh, Porter suggests? I wouldn't call it antediluvian, but um, yeah, it has some catching up to do. But also, Amazon is really difficult to negotiate. It's like trying to negotiate with Tony Soprano. Okay, so Amazon yeah. decides to pick on book publishing because, you know, it's well, if uh, not uh, 19th century. They, this is all about ebooks, and ebooks e yes. e are the savior of the book publishing industry because the margin is 75% on an ebook versus 40% on a. a paper-bound hard hardcover book and um, when there's that much profit and when when Amazon is looking at what Apple is going to be doing competing with them and when they look at what investors are saying is wrong with Amazon because they don't make enough profit they raised the price on Amazon Prime on their delivery and distribution business last month now they're trying to ra they're going to raise the price on ebooks and they need to generate some profit are are ebooks really that profitable? Because my sense of the publishing industry is that it's, uh, at the very least, in turmoil, if not in crisis, over a lack of profitability. Yeah, it's a complicated issue. Ebooks are they do have that profit margin right now, but you can't you can't take that as a given because you still have to start out with. Um, putting man hours into editing and copyright and copy editing and publishing the hardcover, so that is all a fixed cost, and it will never, uh, unless we give up hardcovers altogether, which I don't think will happen. That is sort of built into the cost of the ebook. So, how does the publishing industry respond? I mean, is there any way to go <laughs> to do battle with Amazon? Well, uh, we support Hachette, of course. Uh, a lot of our members are Hachette authors. We have one member who has 65 books on the Hachette list that have been eliminated. 65 books? 65 books. Written He's, by one person? Written by one person. His name is Doug That's Preston. Extraordinarily yeah. prolific. Yeah. So um, we support them, and we absolutely uh, resist what Amazon is doing. These are thuggish tactics. They're designed to intimidate, and they're punitive. Are the, are the authors, though, yeah. can I just ask, are the authors, um, is there solidarity between the authors and the publishers? Because, again, as I understand it, and I'm no authority, uh, the relationship between authors and their publishing houses isn't always that great either. <laughs> yeah, that's also um, an issue uh, that, we, that rewards um, kind well, the, of the book, the book publishers are not losing money. Authors are, especially independent authors and new authors are finding it a very, very difficult thing to, to get into print, whether it's electronic, digital print, or hardcover print. Yeah, they're, they're caught in the crossfire. Yeah. They can do nothing here. So um, would, would you expect then that, uh, so the authors are powerless, uh, the book publishers themselves seem weak, you know, like a David up against the Goliath of an Amazon. Does Amazon, is this just, I mean, I, I, I'm wondering well, to myself, yeah. is this just the beginning? In it, other words, it, Amazon is going to use these hardball strongman tactics with other publishers again. Of I course. They will. And, and they will. And they certainly will. And, and, and one of the problems is they're mirroring what's going on right now, which Roxanne can talk about, the, the uh, DOJ's uh, uh, resolution of the Apple contretemps with the, mm -hmm. the same publishers. But, you know, it's, it's ironic because Barnes & Noble gets a display allowance, uh, extra extra margin from the publishers to put the books on display and in the windows. Uh, Just and, like it happens at supermarkets. Yeah, and Amazon is saying, well, you know, if we, we want to give advance notice or, or uh, book orders before the publishing date, uh, we should get a little better premium in the margin. The, the, there's, there's no consistency in the book publishing business. And one of the things that, that if I were running Hachette, which you have to remember is a multi-billion dollar company just like Amazon. It's not a weak uh, old style book publishing house. It's a huge, huge corporation with a lot of leverage. Why aren't they in the ebook business themselves and, and, and raking in all those margin profits? Well, it's a good question. Since Amazon has taken over um, distribution and marketing right. and trying to get into the publishing business itself, it would make sense for some right. of the publishers to offer directly. But it's interesting to see that Hachette is actually standing up to this. They have not caved in. We're now in week two, I think. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and what we understand is that other publishing houses have are going to be in the same position shortly. Their, their contracts are going to be up and they're going 
going to be up against Amazon. And if they, one by one, stand up to Amazon as well, and Amazon, Amazon starts removing their buy buttons, Amazon will be reducing its own market share and driving its consumers to other sources. Do you see evidence of that happening? Are people... Yes. Many people buy books on Amazon because they're on Amazon, because it's convenient. It requires some initiative on their part, right, to go to another bookseller, another e-book seller or physical bookseller. It's are they not, doing that? They are doing it, and it's not so hard. There are lots of other sites where you can get e-books -book, online. You can go to Powell's. You can go to be at Barnes & Noble. There's one called Zola that I've heard about. And the thing that Amazon is ignoring is the fact that books are not commodities. You will never be able to substitute a cheaper book for War and Peace. It's only War and Peace that you want. So if Amazon doesn't give it to you, you go somewhere else. You don't buy a cheaper book about Russia. In the so, so, Porter, if Amazon is prepared to do it with Tolstoy, what's to stop Amazon from doing it with golf well, clubs, with Titleist? What's well, to stop Amazon from taking this approach with an electronics retailer like Samsung, well, for example? Well, they, they actually are. They, I mean, they're, they're a tough negotiator, but they're just like any other retailer. They want their uh, competitive margins and the, right but now... But up until now they haven't wanted their competitive well, margins. Look at the bottom line at Amazon. The, their net margin is, <laughs> no, but, is 1%. But this, this all is right now, it's it's focused on Apple, which is not mentioned in the stories mm, about Hachette and Amazon. Am, a, Apple is cutting its own deals with the publishers. Amazon probably knows what those deals are and they want the same. And, they, and they're not going to give up until they get it. Yeah. <laughs> I agree with that. In a word? Yes. Yeah. Roxana, thank you very much. Thank